maybe at least the price is good. Oh no, they have to be kidding. They have to be kidding. Hello everyone, welcome to another cool factor video about not as a cool of a set. Obi-Wan Kenobi vs Darth Vader, spoiler alert, by the way, because it's a big significant battle in Obi-Wan show. Set number 75334, 408 pieces, 50 freaking dollars. Uh, yeah. I don't want to be over dramatic in this video, that is exactly how I feel. This is the most outrageously overpriced set in Star Wars lineup I have seen in quite some time. And I just reviewed the N1 Starfighter, quite pricey, I didn't even get the Grievous ship, that thing was insanely overpriced. But this thing takes the cake not for the price only, uh, it also takes the cake for being one of the worst Star Wars sets I have seen. It is so bad they even had to crop the box art, you see it's cut out there, I never or very rarely see that happen if ever that LEGO has to cut out parts of the set to make it bigger and fill the box more to make it more compelling to purchase. That's exactly what's going on here, it's basically cropped in. And I mean, there is literally nothing. Don't get me started on the play functions. I know people are saying there are play functions, but that doesn't take away from the fact that the set looks insanely bland. Even if you watch the episode, you know that landscape was kind of barren and weird, that the whole uh, duel was very weird actually, but it wasn't as barren and as empty as this set. <laughs> I feel like you, a kid can build a similar shaped uh, landscape, a, a flat whatever that is, in like 30 minutes if you give them the right pieces. The play functions include a tipping container to create the lava or the fire, flame, floor, whatever, the floor is lava. You also have quite well hidden, I gotta say that, um, rotary pieces to imitate the duel. I like that how they like flushed in with the, um, the whole surface, but that's not the point. This set just has nothing really good going on about it. Okay, okay, I'll give it to NetB Droid. That minifigure is very good, but that's the only thing I actually like about it. Excellent mold for that armor, really cool head mold as well. Overall, a very good minifigure and a quite a unique droid and a new character in the Star Wars uh, lore. Vader has an updated helmet, yes, but no red eyes, so that's a bummer, kind of like a miss, miss, missed opportunity here, pretty much. Obi-Wan, yeah, nice updated uh, thing here, but no cape or anything, he kind of is no one with the cape or poncho of, in most scenes, so could have been a nice addition here, but I guess Disney Plus, uh, whatever tax, wasn't allowing that. And then we have Taladurith, I had to remind myself the name of this uh, spy imperial officer. I honestly do not know what LEGO was thinking here. I mean, it's an iconic scene, yeah, so people will want this set, but for that price, it's crazy. What can you actually get for $50 that's not this set and gives you a better purpose of serving as a, something useful? A small Billy bookcase from Ikea is $40, cheaper than the set and can hold multiple sets of a little bit of a high, bigger size than this thing, so very useful. Or you can get a bamboo wireless keyboard, which looks nice and serves a purpose of typing things and writing scripts for your videos. <laughs> Or how about just getting 10 IKEA hats, serves great purpose and style is through the roof. You can't go wrong with these. Or just coming back to LEGO, what is a better value for 50 bucks? This set for example, Extra 15 Spaceship from Buzz Lightyear, such a great set for little 50 bucks, you have tons of amazing minifigures, you pay less because it's not Star Wars and it's not, it's not ridiculously overpriced. Anyway, rant is over, uh, if I had to think, I still don't want it. Net B, doesn't really make it make it worth it. Great minifigure, but I would rather pay somebody like 10 bucks to get him alone. Probably gonna be better value. Uh, hide and play features, whatever, honestly. I mean, it's such a bittersweet moment here because it's an iconic battle and a little bit controversial as well and don't wanna spoil too much how it goes, the battle itself, because people either hate or like the battle in the episode. But this set kind of, for a LEGO fan like me, for a Star Wars fan, adds a little bit of a fuel to the fire, I guess. Because I was like on the edge if that scene was good or not, but I guess in the end I like the show, but this set kind of like makes it a, a, a bittersweet memory, I guess, because I just don't like this set so much. Anyway, I've, I'm sure there are gonna be people who are gonna find this set uh, well-priced and, and something they want. You still get Vader, you still get Obi-Wan, you get two new characters, 
so if somebody maybe is just starting a Star Wars collection, that might be a good pickup. But just the looks of that landscape is just, I mean, so many studs and <laughs> completely unused. I mean, add some like, yeah, th is that the equipment they, they had there? Like that whole scene had like a whole rickety kind of mine feel. Some equipment was there in the background. Vader was, eh, there was, there was so much more going on in the episode than in this set. Let it rip in the comment section below. <laughs> feel free to tell me what you think. Maybe you completely disagree with me. Maybe this is actually the set of your dreams or something you've been waiting for, or you're just gonna, you just love the episode or that iconic scene so much that you're just gonna get it no matter what it, it can be like 60 or 100 bucks you're not gonna really pay attention let me know i'd love to hear from you as you can see i'm a little bit disappointed just a little bit thanks so much for watching hit the like subscribe check those videos out if you want to see me more rambling or get more positive opinions and i'll see you in the next one peace out bye